Okay, let's turn our attention to the fabrication of the carriage bolt and the posts. You're going to need to build two of these. They will be identical. So uh, let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a nylock, uh, nylock nut. The nylock nut has the little uh, nylon insert in here. We're going to thread that nylock nut down onto that 5 16 bolt so that the bolt extends about halfway into the nylon insert. The reason that we're going to do this is that when you get ready to drill the uh, hole for your post, you want to have this nut locked on there. You don't want it twisting under your uh, drill bit. So we're going to use a, a lock nut. Lock it on there so we can drill down through there successfully. Next you're going to want to take a center punch and center punch the center of the nut, the center of the flat on uh, the back of the carriage bolt. Now, when you tighten your nut, you want to eyeball it so that the flat on the nut is on the same plane with the flat on the carriage bolt. And you only need to eyeball this. It doesn't need to be perfect, and if you're off a little bit, no big deal. The reason that you want to have them on the same plane is so that your post and your roll pin on the back are sitting straight with each other. We don't want one sitting here, one sitting over here like this. So um, eyeball it get them on the same plane and center punch them so that you've got a, a way to get your drill bit started so it doesn't walk. Now, when you get this under your drill press and you start drilling, you're going to want things to lay flat all the way across. You don't want your carriage bolt to be tipped one way or the other because that is going to affect how your post sets. We don't want the post sitting way forward, way back, whatever. So you want this to set down flat. So here's a good way to do it. Thread a nut on here, a 5 8 nut. That way when you put things down on your drill press table or whatever it is you, you plan on using, it's going to keep the carriage bolt nice and in line horizontal with your drill press table. Just a little trick that will help you. You want to make sure you clamp this down because you don't want it moving. I'll leave it up to you how you're going to clamp it down. Next you're going to drill your holes. You can go one of two ways on this. Um, I used to use quarter twenty three inch grade eight bolts in here for my pins. Of course I cut the head off and they worked fine. There was uh, a little bit of a pro I shouldn't say it was a problem but when you go to tap this material this stuff is like trying to tap silly putty it's tough and I've broken a tap or two doing this I've watched some professionals do it they've broken a tap or two it's it's time consuming and there's a better way if you drill a quarter inch hole you can drive quarter inch roll pin down in there and it'll work just fine. It'll save you a lot of time. It will make the job a lot easier and the roll pin is actually stronger than the bolt. And here's what I mean. 
right there on the bolt the shank of the bolt kind of tapers down and goes into the threaded area and this is the weakest portion of the bolt now when I thread the bolt in here this is going to be my post when I thread the bolt in here we can see I'm going to stop right here that's the weakest portion of the bolt which happens to be right where we are going to put the greatest amount of tension on that bolt I personally have never had a problem with these breaking I saw some pictures one time a guy was having a problem with his bolt breaking right there what had happened was he didn't have things adjusted quite right and under high tension the string climbed up the post put pressure on the post pulled it forward and snapped it right there with a roll pin you don't have that problem we don't have a weak spot right down there roll pins are extremely hard I got to check in the ones that I'm using have a breaking strength of about 7700 pounds considering I'm only going to be putting 300 350 pounds of tension right there this is going to be more than strong enough I recommend using the roll pin if you want to use a bolt certainly nothing wrong with that one little thing that I would recommend if you're gonna drill it and tap it when you drill a hole for a quarter 20 thread it is recommended that you use a number seven drill bit but I'm going to recommend that you go one step above a number seven use a 13 64ths it will just make the hole a little bigger give your tap a little less metal to remove as it goes down through there make your job a little simpler when you get it all drilled and tapped take a quarter inch drill bit and drill down oh, about a sixteenth of an inch or so that will allow let me get this down here that will allow this little tapered part right here to go down below the flat on the nut and it'll give you a nice uh, flat area so that your um, strands don't get hung up as you're as you're doing your layout sometimes if you don't sink this down a little bit it'll set up like that I probably probably can't see it but it'll set up a little bit and a strand or two will get hung up on there no big deal countersink it just a little bit with a quarter inch drill bit and get it down like so as far as what size um, uh, roll pins to use this is a two inch roll pin it's just fine two and a half inch roll pin of course a little bigger I would recommend going with a three inch roll pin on the front here gives you just a little bit more room and you're gonna like that a little better on the back back here I'd recommend using a three and a half inch roll pin when you get to tightening things you're going to want a handle to grab a hold of when you're doing your adjustment and this just makes a real nice handle to hold on to as you're applying tension using your tensioning nut you'll see that as we as we go on so basically that's the rundown on the uh, on the carriage bolts. Oh, one last thing. I have started purchasing all my carriage bolts from Menards. I used to pick up carriage bolts from a bulk supplier and I found a problem. 
more than once I would start drilling down through these carriage bolts and my drill bit would just stop it would start it would just refuse to cut no matter how hard I pulled on that drill press all it would do is just burn up a drill bit the problem I was having was that a lot of these cheap carriage bolts are made of Chinese steel and Chinese steel doesn't get uh, doesn't get mixed properly the alloy isn't quite right sometimes and you get hard spots and it is impossible to drill through those hard spots the bolts I get from Menards the 5 inch by 6 inch carriage bolts that I get from Menards I've never had that problem seems to be good steel drills right through and you will probably you might eliminate the hassle of hitting a hard spot in Chinese steel I've had it happen a number of times no fun you ruin a bit you have to start all over again ruins your day it's <laughs> just just not a good deal all around so get good carriage bolts go down to Menards pick them up that's kind of the rundown on the carriage bolts so get your carriage bolts built and we'll go on to the next step